Well, today I can tell you with certainty that after 18 years, Natalie's case is solved. As far as I'm concerned, it's over. It's over. Yaron Vandersloat is no longer the suspect in my daughter's murder. He is the killer. In the course of his felony prosecution, here for extortion and wire fraud indictment, he gave a proffer in which he finally confessed that he killed Natalie. He described when and how he killed her. And he said that after killing her on the beach in Aruba, he put her into the water, and that was the last that he ever saw her. That was all verified by a comprehensive and conductive conclusive polygraph test. Even with this confession, though, he can't be tried here for Natalie's murder. But I'm satisfied knowing that he did it. He did it alone, and he disposed of her alone. I won't give you the details of his brutal confession. Those will be forthcoming when the proffer is made public. You will also have details of the plea agreement which was reached, his sentence of the extortion, and the wire fraud will run concurrently with a sentence in Peru for killing Stephanie Flores. And that's fine with me. Thanks to a lot of very smart and dedicated people here, I got the answer I've been searching for for the past 18 years. Yaron Vandersloat's confession means we have finally reached the end of our never-ending nightmare. And for me, reaching the end of the nightmare, being over is better than closure. It's been 18 years since Natalie disappeared and Natalie would be 36 years old today. I still miss her every day. It's been a very long and painful journey, but we finally got the answers we've been searching for for all these years. We finally, today, we got justice for Natalie. So thank you all so very much and being supportive of us in our long 18-year journey. Thank you. Inside you said, you looked at your son and said, we did it. How do you sleep tonight as a mother because what she has today? Yeah, I think we sleep, we sleep well. I mean, this has been the most unimaginable journey and, and I know everyone has been with us on this and, and we are so appreciative of it. But for us to finally put this to rest and being over, as I said, it's better than closure because our never ending nightmare had to end. And we are so grateful that we can say that today, that it is over. And that is getting justice for Natalie. He said, from the podium, he's a changed man. Do you have any indication that with his profession there will be charges in Aruba? Do you have any hope for that? I don't. I just know that there are no charges that will be here for his murder, but hopefully maybe they will look into that. Do you need that or do you have what you need? No, I have what I need, but um, we're, I have what I need. Did you Her believe when he said that he's a changed man? I definitely don't. I don't believe he's a changed man at all. How did it feel to see him in the courtroom chapel? Uh, it feels victorious. I feel like you finally be begin to transition from the victim to the victor, and it begins to make the pain and suffering feel somewhat less intense because you are you are here. You are at this point in the pinnacle of the journey and you've gotten justice and you've gotten the answers you've been so desperately seeking. So it felt victorious. Are you confident you got the truth out of him? Oh, I'm absolutely confident. Yes. Yes. If you had the opportunity to talk to Yoron in the courtroom, what did you tell him? I was able to tell Yoron that I think in this long ending nightmare, was able to express things to him that I had been wanting to tell him as far as you know telling him who he is and he is a killer he is a killer he will always be the killer he will always be now the black mark in Aruba he's now confessed to two murders so I that was good for me to be able to to tell him that and do to share that. Do you hope that Aruba may be reopened the case? I don't know about that, but I'm just sticking with Victorious right now. Thank you. Can you tell us a little bit about in the courtroom they said that you sat as he was explaining what happened. How was that moment? It is shocking and it is horrific to hear a 
killer that describing the brutal things that he did to my daughter, Matt's sister, it's shocking and it is very disturbing. But it's things, but parents have to know the truth. They have to hear the answers as to what happened in order to put this to rest and for it to be over. Beth, did uh, Vandersloot uh, let you guys know if others are involved? Did he act alone? Yes, he acted alone. Thank you all so much. Beth, tell us about, tell us about Natalie. Tell us about the 18 years before. Natalie was very bright, very smart, dedicated young lady. She was on her way to college. She was headed to medical school after that, and I have no doubt she would have made it all the way. So uh, we love her, we miss her very much, and uh, we wake up every morning with thoughts of Natalie, but now we wake up knowing that we have, we have reached justice for Natalie. Okay, so she thank was you. truly the best sister I could have ever asked for, absolutely. Have you, have you said a full and complete goodbye to Natalie at this point? Have you visited with her in your own way and let her know that you have peace with all this? I don't know. I don't really look at it as saying goodbye to Natalie because we wake up every morning and our and the, the hope that filled her her life and heart fills ours today. So we feel like we carry Natalie with us even forward now. And that's a good. That's a that's a very good feeling. It like I said, it feels victorious. But thank you so much. You ready? Yeah, yes. Thank you.